Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this lovely Bible keychain. So I have listed the materials at the beginning of the video. So get the materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with the cover using the brown yarn. We are going to make a chain 20. So we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And continue until you have a chain 20. 19 and 20. Okay, so after we have a chain 20, we are going to start doing single crochets starting in the second chain from the hook so we'll skip this and start here and we'll do single crochets across for a total of 19 single crochets so we'll go into the second chain from the hook and do single crochet and then go in the next chain do single crochet do single crochet in the next single crochet and we continue doing single crochet all the way to the end okay so when we get to the end we are going to do a chain one and turn Okay, so now in the second row, we are going to do single crochets in every stitch around for a total of 19 single crochets. So starting here at the very end, we're going to start by doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and we are going to do single crochets all the way until the end. Okay, so again when we get to the end we are going to do a chain one and turn and we are going to repeat same as the second row we are going to do single crochets all the way across and we are going to continue like this until we get to the 12th row so for the next 10 rows repeat that do single crochets all the way across when you get to the end do chain one and repeat do single crochets all the way across until you have a total of 12 rows so i'll see when you're done with the 12th row so that we uh, we do the inside part together okay so after we get to the end of the 12th row this is how our cover looks like so i'm just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn to finish off like that Okay, and now we are going to make the inside part using the white yarn. Okay, so for the inside part, we are going to use the white yarn and we are going to start by doing a chain 10. I already did that. And now starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of nine single crochets. So starting from here, I'll do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and we'll continue all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end, we're going to do a chain one and turn and again we are going to continue doing single crochets all the way across
okay so when we get to the end do chain one and turn and we're going to continue doing single crochets all the way until the end same way we did with row two and continue like that until you get to the 12th row okay so continue for the next 10 rows doing the same thing single crochet nine single crochets across chain one turn and i'll see you when you're done with the 12th row so that we start uh we finish up together okay so guys after we get to the end of the 12th row this is how it looks like so i'm just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn okay and that's the end of the inside part okay so now i forgot to tell you when we're done with the brown part the cover we're supposed to slip stitch all the way around uh, to make it look neat so we're just going to attach the yarn again where we left off and we'll continue doing slip stitches all the way around so i'm just going to slip stitch go in the next stitch and slip stitch again and slip stitch slip stitch like that Okay, and we are going to slip stitch all the way around and until we get here at the end okay so continue slip stitching all the way around until here Okay, so guys when we get to the end i'm just going to cut off the yarn you can see now our cover looks even like that so this is going to be the outside part as you can see okay so now um for the inside part the white part we're just going to fold it like this into half and put it over here so put it uh near the edge of the brown part so that the white part is protruding like this and then we are just going to use the brown yarn to um to stitch all the way around like this until here so for this part here and here Okay, so you're just going to use a needle and uh, just uh, sew it all the way, the three parts like that. And then after that, I'm just going to embroider a little cross over here. You can use a different color, whichever color you want. So I'm just going to use yellow color or orange and put a cross over here using yarn and, and a needle. Just embroider a little. So what I like to do is I usually take a marker and mark wherever that I want to do if I I'm putting a cross over here I just draw a cross using a permanent marker so that it's easier for me when I come to embroider okay so let's do that okay so guys as you can see I've already done I'm already done uh, embroidering and uh, putting all the parts together Okay, so I embroidered the little cross and then I sew the sides like that, as you can see. And I also attached the little keychain over here. So you can use it for your keychain or you can hang it in your car. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. To all my Christian sisters and brothers, be blessed and see you next time.